is John, Digital Nomad, coming to you from Charleston Harbor, where I'm sitting with my laptop and doing some work on this picnic bench in this park. So Digital Nomad, that just means that I'm, you know, have like an online job that I'm doing from the road, you know, at least for the next like couple of weeks. I mean, not, I'm not a full-time guy doing it yet, so, or by yet, I don't mean it, it's ever going to happen, but anyway. So just looking, sitting in this nice park here. As you can see, there's not really too many people here right now, which is good. And it's a little on the cold side today, kind of with this wind, but you know. And there's old Charleston Harbor. I'll try to pan it slowly, because I had someone on the last video kind of complain about that, so I'll try to be more careful about that. And nice pan of the harbor here. Oh, gotta show you Charlie. He's laying down. Okay, he's enjoying laying in the sun right now. That's good. And then, okay, so starting here, this is the bridge there that you have to take from Charleston, that bridge there, to get to James Island, which is where this park is on. And the park, this park, I know, I read it used to be called Sunrise Park, which probably would have been a better name because it's easier to remember. But the other one is something like Francis Peter or something. I don't know. It's some name that nobody will ever remember, so... Okay, and then you can pan this way, slow, panning slowly. There's the city of Charleston there. Nice looking city there. Then you got a sailboat there going. I think that, that one spire there, that, that that big church spire there that's to the left of the sailboat, I think that's that's like the oldest church in Charleston, built in like 1681. There's a sign over there that shows you all that kind of information. Different landmarks, and then okay, and then but anyway, so Charleston, as you um, probably know, but I'll remind you. So it's one of the oldest cities in America. So it's um anyway. So I mean, I guess it was really the, the first one settled in the South, and um, it was always like a very aristocratic society, you know, compared to like um. Well, anyway, the Puritans, the people like let's say for instance, the people who settled in the Puritans, in New England, they were a totally different group than these people. They were more like this fringe kind of group kind of say that the king and stuff didn't like it and they settled in New England and formed their sort of government. And then down here is more like these, it was started by these slaveholders from Barbados and then um, anyway, it was more like an aristocratic society from the beginning and you know, um, you know not that it always was as things went on so much but that's how it started and so um, which is probably why the original church was Episcopalian because that would have been the church that would have dominated more, more like the English elite and you know, the church of England is what it was That's the big bridge there, the east. I forget what it's called, but it goes across the East Bay. And then, um, yeah, so I take that bridge to go back over. I, 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 so if I wanted to go back to my campsite in the Francis Marion National Park, National Forest, I would go across this bridge over here, go across that peninsula there with Charleston, and then go across that bridge there. And then you go, you go across that bridge and then you're in Mount Pleasant, South Carolina. And um, anyway, then you drive a ways, keep going, then you end up in the Francis Marion National Forest. And um, oh, over there, that's the Yorktown um, World War II aircraft carrier. It's nice. I went, I went on that last year. And let's see, let's take a little look at the Harbor. Yeah, there's a lot more sailboats that just came out within about the last hour. I didn't really see that. There's like a little marina over here, too, a um, sailboat marina right there. Not that, that, I mean, not that that's where they're coming from for the most part, but, but there's all kinds of like marinas around. Yeah, we're on James Island, and you have to drive to like a really rich neighborhood to get here. Some really nice houses that I'll never be in, so a <laughs> little beach here. And then out there is Fort Sumner, way out there, um, like basically, basically pretty much directly in the center of this photo. It's the fort that was um, guarding the entrance of the harbor here. And it was, a, it was actually like after the South seceded in South Carolina, they, um, you know, they still had that federal fort out there, and then they didn't really like that too much, and so they fired on the fort and then forced them to surrender. It was actually like, probably a stupid thing to do because actually at that point most of the North wasn't really interested in really going to war. That kind of like galvanized the North and going to war. So you know, because I mean, it's mostly just people in New England that wanted the war and stuff. A lot of people in other parts of the North didn't really want the war. I mean, you know, they probably would just let the South just do its thing and they would have just like done it peacefully and not like fired on them and stuff. But you know, anyway. Would have been a whole.
whole different world, huh? She was walking around without the leash on her dog earlier, so anyway. Look back there real quick, make sure the computer's not getting stolen. But it's out here right now. Yeah, right now. Anyway, try to keep moving. Okay. Sorry for the crappy panning here. I need to really be slow on this. a couple days ago we saw some dolphins I didn't really catch it on video they're kind of hard to get on video they're just kind of coming for a second but there's a lot of dolphins in Charleston Harbor I'm Container ship. They really stack those things high, those cargo containers, like those things. Yeah. Uh. Anyway. Bunch of okay, so these sailboats are not like really big ones. They're like these probably aren't ones. These probably aren't ones that would probably actually go on the ocean. These are like some smaller ones. But but there's a there's a big one. See, he's probably going out in the ocean because you see how he's not even raising his sail probably till he gets out in the ocean so um anyway anyway so yeah it's nice to be able to it's not always easy to do this kind of stuff but um but you know if I can sometimes do my job from kind of like scenic locations it's nice Windy out here. Hope the sound isn't too crappy. Yeah, there's a here's a marina. Well, this is a nice little park here. It doesn't seem from the couple times I've been here, it doesn't seem like it usually gets really crowded. It's just kind of like relaxing. It's kind of like a little further away from Charleston, so it's not so like crowded and stuff. And, Signs at City of Charleston City Park or something, so it's so this area is still in Charleston. Oh, Fort Sumner off the distance, and there's a laptop. 